<laughs> Math 151, problem 4C, practice, practice exam 1. We're given this function h, and we want to find the derivative of h using the limit definition. And that limit definition, uh, we let the distance between the points go to 0. Um, and we take the outputs for the points. So let's do this. Uh, so the limit as h goes to 0 of um, x, x plus h plugged into that function. So 2 times x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h. And that's then we're going to subtract the function at x, which is just 2x squared minus 3x. And that's divided by the distance between them. All right. So let's do a little work here, simplifying. If we try to do direct a substitution right now, sorry, that's nonsense. If we try to do direct substitution right now, we'd be dividing by zero. So we're hoping to get an h to cancel out. So um, let me do a little bit of scratch work up above. Um, x plus h squared, that's x plus h times x plus h. So that's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And if I distribute that 2 into there, boop, 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 that gives me 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared. Distribute that negative 3 into there, minus 3x minus 3h. Distribute that negative into there, minus 2x squared plus 3x. And that whole thing's over h. Let me see what cancels out here. Uh, 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. Negative 3x plus 3x is 0. Great. Uh, so then if I look at what I'm, I'm left with, I can factor an h out of each of these pieces. So that would be h times 4x plus 2h minus 3. And, conveniently, h's divide out, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. So now I have the limit as h approaches 0 of 4x minus 2h minus 3. As h goes to 0, this term right here goes to 0. So I'm left with 4x minus 3. So the derivative of h is... 4x minus 3. That's the steepness of this shape at any given x.